Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome to some Forza Horizon Freezer. This game, I am going to tell you, this game is absolutely sick. But there is one, one small, well it's not small really, it's quite a, quite a big thing for me. Um, what's the big issue at the moment? Well, we're not going to go into that just yet. We're going to, we're going to, you know, talk about the game. I've had the game a while now. Um, probably about, let's go down here, uh, probably about, how long, well since this came out, so probably about a week so far, and I'm loving it, I'm loving the game, I am absolutely loving it, uh, but in terms of the wheel, there is a slight issue, um, I, I don't know if it's what they intended or if it's not, um, but like I said, let's not go into that now. I'm trying to get onto that issue, but I don't want to yet. Uh, sorry, I wasn't looking. And also, I'm playing with no sound, so it's really weird. It's really strange. I don't know. Um, don't know what's happened to my sound. <laughs> Just randomly disappeared. But anyway, let's get into, <laughs> let's get into the the game. In terms of career mode, this game is absolutely sick. Uh, just going around doing all the races, all the grip races, uh, all the like off road races. They are sick. I absolutely loving it. Um, absolutely having fun on this game. That's what I wanted to have. I wanted to have fun. Look how sexy this car is. Nissan Silvia S15 with the Rocket Bunny. All my days. I got it in yellow and it looks sick. Um, the reason I came onto this screen um, is to show you um, the Rocket Bunny thing. Upgrade Heroes is it? No it's not that. Oof. What did I just click on that for? Uh, you want to go to Garage Upgrades here we go, body kit presets. Um, I've got a set up file from a friend. Uh, shout out to Reese Tatterson, we're setting up my drift car. Um, but yeah, I can't uh, I can't show you at the moment. But if you go in there, it basically just has the Rocket Bunny kit. Uh, with the Rocket Bunny kit, you get like a turbo and extra upgrades that add on to the Rocket Bunny. So you get more than just a visual, uh, which I really like. Um, the, and the fact that they've added Rocket Bunnies into this game. Sick bruv, sick! Um, so yeah, career mode, absolutely sick. I'm just working through uh, all the races now. I'm not too far into the game because I've just been drifting really. Um, so we've got PR stunts, you've got races, you've got speed cameras, you've got barn finds, you've got, um, what are they called? What are they called? What are these things called? Bucket list, you've got bucket list, uh, you've got stunt jumps. And you've got the signs to find as well. So this game's got everything for you. It'll keep you gripped for a long time. Uh, which I really like. I really like. Um, I like playing career. Um, I'm calling it career. But I just. I don't know what to call it. Like races. <laughs> I like doing these like. Offline races. But. It gets to a point where you just get bored. But I don't think I'm going to get bored on this. I'm just going to keep going through the races. Till the showdown. At the end. I can't wait to that. Um, but yeah, I need to stop drifting and actually do some offline. <laughs> um, so yeah, in terms of that, all the cars are amazing. Quite a few cars on here that you didn't expect. Um, you got tuning, same tuning as all the Forzas. You got rivals, so you can go against all your friends. Like speed zone triggered, I can go against MLM Sparko, and I can try and get more speed zones than him. Um, so it's really fun. Uh, you paint in. Paint is the same as every Forza as well. There's so many paints. So many. And progress. you got your wheel spins back. And you also got a skill shop. Which is just gives you like bonuses. Like earn 20% more credits for blueprint bucket lists. And you got skills as well. So you can. Like this one you drift and you get 10% more. And you've also got instant rewards. Well I haven't done yet. I'm just going to leave these to the end. Um, i got no need for that extra VC at the moment. PC, CR. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I haven't played too much offline, mainly because a lot of games came out at the same time. Like you got FIFA, NBA, and Forza Horizon 3. So I'm trying to split my time between them. Um, and my Elgato broke. That's the main reason I haven't released the video yet. But it has given me a good time to review the game, sit down with the game, play the game, enjoy the game for what it is without recording. So that's that. Anyway, let's head back up to where we were. Um, and let's, let's get into the meaty section, the drifting. Um, obviously, Forza, I've been drifting on this game since Forza 2. So, I, I, I like this. One thing I will say, oh, oh, 
One thing I will say actually, is anyone else having trouble like this? Every game I buy on Xbox, you drive on the right. So automatically I drive on the right, but you've got to drive on the left. Like, I'm, I'm English and you drive on the left, but I just can't get used to it. It's like Xbox, you expect to drive on the right. I don't know <laughs> I don't know if that's just me or, or what, but who knows. But yeah, this is probably like the token drift spot at the moment. It's like there's a bucket list and you drift in it. Um, the car just appeared. You see that? Sick. Uh, but yeah, it's probably the token dress spot at the moment, so let's just come here for the review. Okay, force feedback. All I wanted it to do was stay the same as Forza Horizon 2. As you could tell, they had to change it. And it's gone back to probably like the Forza 6. I didn't drift on Forza 6, I couldn't stand the force feedback, so I'd, I'm not going to comment on that. Um, I don't know how that really felt, to be honest. I tried it, and it just didn't work. But at the moment, let's go into the let's go into the settings. Into the settings, you go to controls, advanced, and on here, 900 degrees wheel rotation, right? And oh, it's not a good camera for this. Let's just do a circle. Let's go into the middle here and do a circle. So I'm turning, and to about here, that's full lock. And how far have I turned? Probably about that. So you're talking about 270 degrees. Let's go back slowly to about there. So you're talking, yeah, 270. Is that fair? So I've got the wheel on 900, but full lock is at 270 degrees. Like, I don't know if that's a mistake by Forza Horizon 2 or what, but it sh full lock should be 900, right? Am I, am I wrong? <laughs> am I wrong? I, I, I've got a 900 wheel and I want to run 900 degrees on my wheel but at the moment I have to control my car like I'm using 270 but I've got it on 900. Um, obviously you can go into your and you can go to oh shit wrong thing and you can go to advanced and you can go to steering linearity and if you lower this um, basically it'll take longer to get to full lock so let's have a look uh, so let's turn the wheel now so as you can see I'm turning slower slower but when you get closer to full lock probably around here yeah that's full lock there so if you do that but look at look at the wheel like when you're in this lower bit it's shaking it's generally you cannot run this because the accuracy at this lower stage is so bad but that's what linearity does like it's concentrating on full lock rather than uh, the lower stages so you can't run that because it's too inaccurate so when you're doing transitions you go flicking it from one side to the other it doesn't catch it like it doesn't this bit here it doesn't feel it so that's the problem there um, so you've got to run 50 like if you run more than that it brings it down to like 50 degrees turn it <laughs> um, so you don't want to do that so you have to run 50 for it to feel acceptable um, and I just want to run 900 I I don't know if this was an overlook by by Horizon 2 or or what but it's shit it generally is shit because us wheel users is not what well, let's not say wheel users because Grip racing, you don't mind running that degrees. Like when I'm grip racing, I run a lower degrees anyway. So it's like this degrees, I can get used to that, like grip racing. But in terms of drifting, I want to run 900. I want to have the accuracy. I want to have the smoothness. I want to, I want to feel the car, and I need 900 for that. Um, Force Horizon 2 was exactly the same force feedback as this. I can feel it. Like when you get to that point where you feel like you're gonna spin. Uh, let's go. Uh, so you get to this point here, like there's a little, you can feel it, the force feedback. And when you get to that point, that's exactly how it felt on Forza Horizon 2. But at 900, they had the full wheel on offer. It's so weird, I, I don't know if they've overlooked this or what, or maybe they can give us an update on this because this is crazy. Like, I want to run 900. If I wanted to run 270, I'd pick 270 in the menu and run it. Like, it's simple isn't it I don't know 
I don't know if anyone else is having this problem. If, it's, if I know it's not my will because I've been on the forum to so many threads about the same thing. It's it's so annoying. It's generally annoying. Like us drifters, we wanna we wanna run 900. It's it's crazy. And if this game had 900 on it right now, I just wouldn't stop drifting because I can tell the force feedback is gonna be absolutely amazing. Obviously, at 270 degrees, you can drift fine. It's it's not too bad, but in terms of transitions and stuff like that, I need 900. It's, I'm so slow on transitions with 270. Well, that wasn't too slow, but it's such a struggle to transition with this low degrees. That's what I find anyway. I don't know if anyone else is having the same issue. Uh, please let me know. I am going to add uh, turn 10 this video, so if anyone could like and share it, I really would appreciate it. Just so they could take a note on, on this issue, because... I know grip racing is spot on, the force feedback is spot on, but it's drifting out. They've put drifting in the game, they've got drift events, well not drift events, but drift uh, sections where you earn points for a section of the road. But to drift on the wheel, we need more than this. Like We can drift, but please, please, I'm, I'm, I'm begging right now, just, <laughs> just make this to the full extension. Because you shouldn't, well, on 900 degrees, you shouldn't have full lock at that. That is not full lock on 900 degrees. I should be turning the wheel to there, which is another... Yeah, that's quite literally half, isn't it? Another half of my wheel turn. So, to there, and then to there. I should be... I should be using full lock. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I know you like me ranting sometimes, uh, but that wasn't really a rant. It was just a... It was just making turn 10 aware, really. Um, leave a comment below uh, if you found anything different. If you want to have a debate below, leave a comment as well. I like to, I love a debate. And yeah, I appreciate the support. There will be more Forza Horizon 3 videos. Don't ex don't expect just because this um, wheel issue, I'm not going to play the game. The game is sick. Um, that's one thing Turn 10 has done. They've made this game sick. I can drift for 270, but I want I want um, I want the full 900 in my in my hands right now. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one.